everyone welcome back to my channel hope you're all doing well so as promised in my latest vlog i want to film a current favorites i really enjoy watching these these are just such nostalgia to me they're good if you're struggling for products on certain things they might give you some ideas on products and stuff so i've got a bit of everything i've got skincare hair care nails makeup mostly beauty but i am going to stick in some like kind of randomly bits as well so if you want to see my current favorites i'm not going to say monthly favorites because i'm not doing these every single month but my current favorites then keep on watching i'm going to start off with bath because i have one product to show you guys i have been loving this product um so i got this in a set for christmas and i absolutely love this i use this with the bath salts and it is so good it is the champ knees which is such a nice relaxing spa brand i love it this is the bubble heaven bubble bath in the cam scent i also love the slumber but this one in particular it's got little specks of gold glitter in it. It doesn't cover you in glitter, but it honestly smells like you're in a spa. It's so nice for like those pamper evenings. Um, so in this, it's got gentle notes of gardenia, cedarwood and eucalyptus oils. And oh my goodness, so nice. It smells incredible. It leaves your skin super soft, gives you incredible bubbles because i've uh, i've tried a number of bubble baths in my time and half the time no matter what the cost is they don't show up in the bath they literally just disappear and you're literally sitting in a nicely scented bath but this actually gives you bubbles and it's so nice oh it just smells so lovely and relax even just smelling it is just so relaxing and i would highly recommend this if you're looking for like a nice relaxing bubble bath that you want to splurge a little bit but you don't want to go too too crazy i think you can get these for like maybe seven pounds at a boot so they're not too expensive but they're not like redox at a pound but they're so nice highly recommend next for hair care i have two products i've been loving these these are totally random so recently i've been loving the i've always worn my hair up in a bubble but i was kind of getting sick of the little flyaways and things and i found this in the back of my drawers and i dug it out started using that again my hair is a bit frizzy at the back i do need to wash it but this stuff is incredible it's so good. It is the Lulu Bell's slick and slick back down baby hairstyler. It's like a mascara, but it's like gel. It is so good, and it literally sticks your hair down all day, but doesn't feel like you've got gel in your hair. It literally just feels like it's in place. It's not going to move, and it's been really windy for the last couple of days. And this stuff just keeps the hair down it's so good i can't remember how much it is i will leave as much as i can down below but this is so good it's on par with obviously like you've got to be glued but i got a feeling this isn't as sticky as got to be glued this is quite subtle you can't feel it in your hair there's not any hard bits in your hair or anything like that so good the hair product is an oil this is a dupe for something I'm not entirely sure what it is. Um, it's from Lacura, which is the Aldi brand. It is the hair oil infused with honey. It is so good. It doesn't even look like I've used much because I don't need a lot of oil in my hair, especially like at the roots and stuff because it gets quite greasy. Um, but it's so nice. It's really nourishing. My hair at the ends love it because I still technically have blonde in my hair underneath this dye so the bottoms do get still kind of like a little bit dry looking my hair is at the bottom with dry this is still feeling like not the, the same as the top my top of my hair is silky smooth because it's my natural hair with the hair dye on it but this has got the blonde underneath and it's still so shiny with that hair oil just it's so nice and i think this was like five pound maybe maybe a little bit more than that so good and this is going to last me so long nails i've only got two things because i've literally lived in them the past 
month i did get my nails done yesterday it's the first time me getting my nails done since maybe this time last year like i don't get it done regularly because it is so expensive but there was a new place in town that was doing 30 percent off so and i just got classic french ombre um but these two and they're not my lee you guys know i love my Mali stuff but for some reason i've just not been bothered to bring all the equipment out and stuff i know that's so lazy but i got these last year for my birthday like night out didn't use them i don't think but oh my goodness this is such a nice glittery natural nail it's so nice i had it in my last video and on my last vlog so this is etsy ladylike 101 which is like just a beautiful nude got a little bit of a cool tone undertone to that it's so nice and then this one is birthday girl and it's just gorgeous it's pink with i think silver and pink glitter as i said it's more on the cool tone side i'm, I'm into my cool tone era you know like that makeup i did in my last video i'm kind of convinced i suit more cool toned products than warm maybe i don't know i just feel like i feel more confident with that sort of makeup on rather than like really orangey tones maybe i don't know but yeah i love these so what i did was i did two coats of this two coats of that yet yeah, four coats you probably don't even need to do that for the coverage but it lasted like i use bleaching cleaning products literally every single day of my life because i clean at work this literally lasted a week before it started chipping which is insane because even the miley stuff tends to chip maybe roughly about the same, same time but that is gel so good and it was so pretty it kind of gave like a pinky metallic look to it but i feel like if you only did one coat of this or even on its own it would be really nice like over top of this or something super cute i've got a cup of tea here in my new mug you would have seen it in my vlog if you've watched my vlog but from B&M. I got another two mugs as well. But they're more kind of like coffee style mugs for spring. Oh my goodness. They are the cutest. If you haven't seen my vlog, I'll leave it linked down below. I did a little B&M haul in it. But how gorgeous is this mug? It's simple, neutral, but spring at the same time. I love it. They did have one that said Hello Spring on it, but it had like a, it, was, it was cute. It had a little like ceramic rabbit hanging out of it, but I feel like that would annoy me. When i'm drinking out of it i was this close to getting it, it was four pound fifty and it looked cute it had loads of flowers and stuff on it but as i said i feel like when i'm drinking it this would hit me in the face and it would drive me nuts so i didn't get it but this one is so cute tea is delish so skincare i think i may have shown these in my last one but honestly it's all i've been using this is my like current go-to skincare routine. It's made my skin just so good. To be honest, I don't really have problematic troubled skin. I get the odd spot kind of when I'm on my time of the month. But other than that, I don't really have any major issues. I have pores like everybody else. I have texture. It doesn't really bother me. Not gonna lie. We're all human it's skin so it doesn't really bother me i am still waiting on my elements order coming in and i've got another one of them and i've also got um the little capsules coming and also the pads i'm really excited to try the pads apparently they are amazing for texture so if they don't work i'm not fussed i've not really used any products for the texture but i just thought you know what let's try and smooth it out as much as possible but as i said i'm not really fussed about the texture i mean i'm using my iphone and i, th I feel like it does put a filter a small fil filter on the camera um i don't know if you can see it's a bit better right you can see i've got i've got texture i've got freckles I've, i still don't know what this is i'm all i don't know um yeah, it's, it's, it's skin, right? It's natural. Anyway, skincare. I have to show this. I love this. It was a bad idea trying this. Uh, as I said before, I've tried cleansing balms before, but this is the first time me using Elemis. The smell. Like this, going in the bath with this in the bath salts. And then using this. 
oh my goodness it's like you don't need to go out and go to a spa you've got it in your own house it smells incredible and i'm working my way through this you guys know i've only had this since like before christmas i love this i may have to invest in the big pot because i think this is the medium sized one so this is the 100 gram i think there's a 200 gram one i think i might need that in my life because this is amazing not only do you only need a tiny bit that's how much i love it i don't use a lot of this to take my makeup not that i may use makeup that much anyway but when i've got makeup on it literally just melts off it's amazing the smell is just the one it wins for me it's gloomy as hell outside by the way sorry for the lighting i don't know what's happening like this weather the last couple of months has been crazy but anyway i had to include this i know it's expensive but if you're in the market for a really good cleansing balm and they do a smaller one than this which is cheaper um, if you wanted to like try it out first but oh my goodness and none of these are gifted are pr this is all my own thoughts and feelings this is all my own money that i've spent on it i have not been gifted any of these products by the way i wish i wish but yeah oh my goodness amazing love it I've also been loving this i don't use this every single night you can do though it is gentle enough to use every single night but i tend to use it when i'm doing my pamper this is kind of like my mask of the moment i'm loving this so it's the elemis papaya enzyme peel and the reason why i got this is because when i went to the spa with danielle last year you would have seen that vlog if you've seen that vlog um it was an elemis facial that i got and she said she used this on me and my skin has never looked fresher, glowier, juicier than when she used this on me. So I was like, that's the first product I need to get if I'm doing an Elemis order. And it's not disappointed. It's not super expensive, but it is compared to other brands. I don't know if there's any cheaper alternatives to this, but oh my goodness, this is something I will repurchase and repurchase. These two here, I will repurchase these for life because these are so good. Um it'll be my little treat to myself every six months or whatever it is that it's going to take to use all this up but next i've got this now i don't really know what this does right but the smell of it the application of it under makeup this stuff is incredible again it's lucura it was like six pound none of their pre stuff is over 10 pounds Let's just say that. And this is a dupe for the little, I can never say that brand, Lara Poge. Lara Poge. That one. Um, it is the Lassoy, I can't, I'm Scottish, bad with pronunciations. Um, it's a concentrate serum and you just pop a small amount onto clean skin, um, massage before your moisturizer. So I use this preferably in the morning. It doesn't specify if you need to do it day or night. And it doesn't say that you can do it day and night. So I've just stuck to during the day. But even under makeup, this is incredible. Packaging, gorgeous. I don't know if that's what the real one looks like. Again, it smells like a spa. It smells so kind of fresh and kind of her not herby, but you know what I mean? That kind of calm and relaxing oil sort of smell. And I love this. I love the bottle the bottle is absolutely gorgeous and it's an oil it's a serum but it's almost like an oil but it's like a dry oil it doesn't leave your skin shiny it leaves it just really hydrated it's amazing i love it as you can tell i'm halfway down it and i only got it before christmas and i only use it every morning and it's literally i don't eat i wipe excess off so i do that bum 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 done skincare lip care products are these i've been kind of like living in these this one i got from beauty bay quite expensive what is happening here would you like to focus yes thank you um quite expensive it's 16 pounds off beauty bay which was actually cheaper than tiktok shop but this when i seen this i could not have i could not not have it I've mentioned in a number of videos, anything that smells like chocolate, body-wise, I have to have it. 
Like, I have to have everything that smells like chocolate. Like, I've got the cocoa butter hair stuff. I've got the body lotion. And then I've got lip balm. And this stuff is actually really annoyingly good. Really annoyingly good. Because I thought, oh my god, it's just a hype. Everybody in TikTok's got it. It's one of those things. Everybody's going to buy it. And then it's going to be not as great as everybody's making out to be. And then nobody buys it anymore if that makes sense but oh my goodness this is actually really good it's so hydrating and when i wake up in the morning my lips are so nicely hydrated what gets me with this one is the scent i just want to eat it it's so good like oh my god i love like a fruity kind of lip balm but oh my god i had to have the chocolate one it's so good the next one on my list is the vanilla one but i sometimes think vanilla stuff is quite sickly but this is like oh, i just wanna oh my goodness it's so good and to be honest right 16 pound you do get a lot like i use this every single night and sometimes during the day if i feel like my lips are really 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 dry and i feel like i haven't even dented it like it's gonna last a long time so 16 pound even though it's quite expensive for a lip balm it's worth it in my eyes i love this i'd buy 100 of them just for the scent of it not gonna lie the next one is this i've been living in this the last couple of weeks it is the lacura dupe for the dior lip oil in cherry this stuff is so nice it's i don't know if it's a dupe because i've never tried the dior one this was like four pound I believe the Dior one's not as sticky. This is quite sticky, but I sometimes like that because I feel like it lasts a bit longer on the lips. It's not super sticky. It's not like can't talk properly sticky. It's really nice. The colour is really nice. It gives this really nice kind of pinky like tinge and it's so nice. It's just super hydrating. It smells like mint. Not really plumping. I think it is meant to be plumping, but I don't feel like it plumps like the like uh, Too Faced Extreme. That is plumping material. This doesn't really do much. Um, the pink one's really nice as well. Um, but if you're looking to get like the Dior one, but you don't want to spend the money, again, this is a good alternative. It's not the worst. It's not the best, but it's, it's a good lip oil. Like you can't really go wrong with a lip oil. I feel maybe you can. I don't know. I don't make make. I don't make makeup, but I really like this. I've been using it. Um, keep an eye out on Aldi website. Honestly, some of their beauty dupes, insane, for the money. Like, insane. Just insane. Me. Yeah. Actually, have one more hair care product. I forgot to show you it when I was doing my hair care. Technically, the whole range, but this in particular. Now I know it says for dry curly hair right i know that but when i seen this on the boots website and it said cocoa butter as i've just mentioned anything chocolate i have to have i don't know what it is i'm not even like a humongous fan of chocolate like it's not my f i'd rather crisps over chocolate i'm more savory than sweet but the scent of chocolate like the body shop chocomania range i had everything from that range i was so upset when they decided to discontinue it and Lush had a chocolate face mask as well to die for. Like, I'm, I don't know what it is. I'm obsessed with smelling like chocolate. I'd rather smell like chocolate than fruit, <laughs> like oranges or something. This, even though it's for dry curly hair, this, oh my goodness. See, once I've used this and blow dried and straightened my hair, my hair is so freaking soft like i've heard good things and bad things of like drugstore hair care products but this range never seems to be in the bad ones for some reason but oh my god it just smells this smells more like obviously like cocoa butter rather than chocolate but it's still in that family of smelling like chocolate like this i just got my chin <laughs> this smells incredible and my hair feels so soft and it's sort of like makeup like you don't have to use a lip liner on your lips you could use it on your eyes you don't have to use a blusher on your cheeks you can use it on your eyes you don't use the you don't you know what i mean you don't have to do something a certain way because that was what was made for this is for dry curly hair one i don't have curly hair at all i've got wavy at best I do have dry hair, 
but because I've not what because I've not got curly hair, I shouldn't be able to use this. No, this is amazing. I love it and I have the shampoo and the conditioner as well it's my go-to at the minute on my hair and as I said with the oil and stuff my hair is just really healthy looking for having blonde bleach underneath. I'm gonna go into homey bits I've only got literally four technically two products um maybe three products actually yeah three products um but one is kind of clasped all together if that makes sense so the first one is who knew a sleep mask would make your sleep so much better? So I got this in that little gift set with the pillowcase. I haven't used the pillowcase yet. I've been using the um, scrunchies as well, but oh my goodness, it blacks out everything. I feel like I get a more peaceful sleep. I don't know why. Is there a scientific reason why that happens? I don't know. But oh my god, not only that, it looks absolutely stunning, that champagne colour, and I got it on deal when I got the gifts and it's super spongy. It's so nice and comfortable, it doesn't irritate my skin, it doesn't irritate my eyes, and it just... It's amazing. I had to mention that because I've been using that quite a lot, it's been really good. Next I've got this, this is weird, I've had this for ages, like literally like... God knows, I, can't, I actually can't remember, but um, this is a room spray from Rituals and I forgot how good this smells. This is so nice. It is sweet orange and cedarwood, so it's their kind of um, autumn scent, but oh my goodness, I've been using it because obviously we're still in winter. Oh, that just brings back so many memories and I've been absolutely loving spraying the heck out of upstairs with that. So I just thought I'd mention it. I don't know how much this was because it was you just got back again. I will leave a link down below. And then I'm swallowing that. I sprayed way too much. My other home fragrance thing. I bought these age like before Christmas, maybe autumn last year. And I'm just now getting around to using them in the bedroom. So these are from Asda. These were £3.50 or £3 at least. Um, There's little oils and they are, I think they're dupes for something. I'm not sure what. Don't know why I whispered there. But um, this one is Invigorate. White Mint and Eucalyptus. So refreshing and just... I am so into my diffusers right now. You know, the mist diffusers. I've got one downstairs. I've got one up here. It's so nice. And then we've got Spa Retreat, Ylang Ylang and Cedarwood. This one is probably my favourite. Anything with sandalwood in it right now, I'm loving. And it makes the whole entire upstairs smell incredible. And you only need a few drops. And it's so strong. It is so strong. It's so good. And then we've got this one, which is Relax, White Iris and Citrus. Probably my least, least favourite, which is unusual because I like a relaxing scent. But yeah, I just thought I'd throw them in there because now we can get on to the fun part, makeup. Because you guys know, I've been buying a lot of makeup and I thought I'd share with you what I thought about the, what, the bits I've been buying. So let's go. Okay, so we're not going in order because I have to mention this because it is, I said it in my last video, this is the best discovery of 2023 for me i only got it before christmas and oh my goodness i've used it about four times when i've been doing my makeup on my eyes specifically it is drip drip by made by mitchell like i bought two of these and the next two products i'm going to show you this all over the body all over the eyes best invention ever this looks insane incredible it is just it is supposed to be a blusher i don't think i could use this as a blusher or a highlighter even but all over the body br like brushed out and patted on the eyelids stunning absolutely stunning it is a silver and i don't know what it is as i said i'm kind of getting into my cool tones i don't know what's happening to me i used to stare clear of cool tone stuff and now I'm loving them, but this, if you haven't tried this and you haven't used it, go out and get it because you can normally get them really cheap on TikTok shop and on Beauty Bay. I think I got these from TikTok shop and they were £5 each. And for £5, definitely worth it. For full price, definitely worth it. They have an XL version of this as well if you are already into it and you want a bigger tube. It's amazing. Like, I cannot believe I went so long without that, but... 
I had to bring it up. The other two made by Mitchell products I have to show you is these. You guys know I stick to the same colour when it comes to blush. And it's usually a peachy coral sort of vibe. I've been living in these pinks. Like, who am I? I've got one on today. I've got a pink on today. Who am I? Like, my makeup style, I feel, is changing slightly. So I've got rose on today. I had this colour on on my last video. You would have seen it. How freaking gorgeous was that colour? Like, I would have looked at that palette this time last year and thought, not a chance. Not a flying chance you'll see me wearing any other than kind of these colours. Nope. I've been steering towards these ones. What is happening to me? But the formula, they are so pigmented, but they blend really nicely. They're so easy to work with. This is such a good book of blushes. The formula, mwah, beautiful. Some of them are glittery, shimmery. Some of them are matte. The one I've got on today is a little bit shimmery. It's got a little bit of gold through it. So has this one, this one's got like a bit of a silver shimmer to it. This one's got a gold one. This one's got a bit of a silver shimmer in it as well. But the rest are matte. But oh my goodness, I'm excited. I'm excited to use these three. Maybe that one as well. In fact, I'm excited to try them all just to see what suits me and stuff because I always go with the same colours, as I say. But this is so good. And everybody loves this. This is so good, not only on the cheeks, but also the eyes. I have this on the eyes today. I went for a really subtle, cool toned look. More neutral, less warm. So I've got this all over the eye and I've got ginger biscuit in the crease. Super simple, but makes it look like I've got something on. This is such a good palette. Again, it's really creamy, buttery. It works well over the eyes. It's really pretty. Again, there's some shimmers in here. There's some mattes. There is a shade for everybody. And if you are obviously too light for these shades, you can use them as eyeshadows. Or just play a bit, you know? And it's great if you're somebody that tans, like fake tans, because in my lightest, I'd probably get away with maybe this. But when I'm darker, I could probably kind of work my way through these ones. So good, amazing. And I think I got these for 15 pound off TikTok shop. So they were discounted as well. So highly recommend these. Highly, highly recommend all made by Mitchell stuff that I've used so far. I have to mention this. I've got it on today. I live in this. It's incredible like i i i get the hype so it is the pink honey bbf bronzing face frosting in buttercream this stuff is next level makeup it's so good it blends so easily it's a nice color i can get away with it when i'm tanned when i'm not tanned it's just, it looks natural. It doesn't look orange. It's nice and natural colour. It's not really warm. It's not super cool tone. They do have contour ones as well, which are obviously are more cool tone. But honestly, again, amazing TikTok finds. Like that was the one thing I liked TikTok for was the finds on makeup. Next I've got concealer. So I bought this just before Christmas. It's actually Lacura. It's a dupe for the Giordi Armani. I've never tried that one because quite literally I don't have £40 for a concealer, you know? But this, the formula on this for £4.99 is really, really nice. Like, it's full coverage. It covered, I had super dark circles this morning. I don't know why. I got a good night's sleep, but my, I looked like I had black eyes. Um, it covers really nicely, but it's not a matte finish. It gives this nice sheen to the skin under the eye, which makes it look more healthier, more hydrated. It's actually really good. Like the first time I used it, I wasn't kind of like blown away. It's a concealer, wow. I don't really get blown away by like concealers. I have the ones that I like. I don't really dislike many unless they are really bad, don't blend or KK sort of thing. But it takes a lot for me to go, wow, I actually really, really like that concealer and I'd buy it again when it comes out. The only thing is Aldi's beauty bodies are here and there, you know? This is so good. It's the Cashmere Glow Luminous Concealer, but it's not glittery, it's not shiny. It just gives this 
glow it's so nice like it's really nice if you like that more luminous awake look under the eyes rather than just kind of flat matte this is so nice and for 4 dollars as I said I don't know if the Giorgio Armani does the same I'm guessing it does that's why they've copied it but $4.99 4 dollars you know bargain I've got two primers these pretty much side by side do the same thing not gonna lie but I've been really enjoying both. I've got this one on today. So this is the Beauty Crop We Shuri Gripping Primer. The only annoying thing with this, right, is the pump. The pump on this doesn't work. So I need to unscrew it and squeeze it out, which is actually not too hard to do. Um, but that's the only issue I have with this one. The gold one doesn't seem to do that. It's just this one. I don't know if this is maybe too thick a formula for the pump. Not sure, but oh my god, this leaves my skin like flawless the entire day and it helps. Like, I don't really have that much of an issue when it comes to having my makeup on for long because I don't wear it for very long. I wore this on the night out and I had my makeup on from 12 until 12, so 12 hours. And my makeup was still intact. In fact, it was longer than that because I stupidly didn't take my makeup off at night. I went to sleep in it. My skin face, face makeup, skin face makeup <laughs> was still intact the next day. Amazing. I love it. Super inexpensive as well. And then this one. Again, does the same thing. This one, the pump does work. <laughs> so that's a good thing. So I'm ex I am was ecstatic when I finally got my hands on this because I was waiting months to get this because I didn't really want to order online which because I've gotten that habit where it's like, oh, it's £25 free shipping. I'm like, okay, I'll just buy another couple of things and then buy more things and then I buy stuff I don't even need. All I wanted was this and it's really good. So if you're in the market for a gripping, sticky, tacky primer, this or that one, both really, really good. My last makeup products... Our lip combos well this one this is the one i've been kind of living in the past month i'm loving this so this is a rimmel i these in general not just this shade just th this pencil line from rimmel amazing 3.99 the creamiest yet long lasting pencil in the drugstore i i hands down i quote that i feel like this is the best drugstore pencil my opinion um and it's amazing and they have tons of colors i've got the red one i've got obviously all the nudie ones there's some pinks that i want to get but 3.99 when do you ever see a cheap but really good lip liner like that anymore like even the l'oreal ones are like 10 7 pounds maybe more than three pounds this one is 90s nude i got this recently um just after christmas and it is my new favorite it's it's I love it I love it it's just your classic 90s nude brownie nude I love it it sort of reminds me of I want to say oak and cork kind of mixed in maybe I don't know I just like a nude lip liner and this is the combo I've been living in this 3 99 I've been picking it over MAC ones which says a lot say a lot and then the lipstick is hue i've been really liking not the gloss but the shine of a glaze and this is like your more peach color i love this i've had this for years i used to love all the lusters and glazed lipsticks and then i kind of went for the more vivid really strong mattes and satins and then i'm kind of going back to these i just i feel them more comfortable to wear but they do kind of last for them being not matte if that makes sense like i've had this on for a couple of hours and so that's it freshly applied i just love it and I love the smell of a matte lipstick. You can't go wrong with that. Um, but yeah, my go-to products that I've been absolutely loving. So I wanted to mention a book. I can't find the book though. That's the only thing that's annoying me. So I'm currently reading Lisa Joel, um, The Family Upstairs. Loving it. I finished Colin Hoover, um, It Ends With Us and It Starts With Us. Oh my goodness, I could not put those books down. Like it takes a long time for me to read. 
it takes a long time for me to read one book and I managed to finish two books in under a month. I deserve a medal. I do. I love that the first book is coming into a, a film. I love that. I cannot wait to see that. But oh my god, I love the books. This one that I'm currently reading is a different genre. It's not romance or anything like that. It's more crime, I want to say. Mystery, thriller. Um, I'm kind of, I think I'm like maybe uh, one quarter away through. Um, it's good. It's, it's taken a lot longer to get into um, because each chapter is a, sp a perspective of a different character. I don't want to spoil it because I don't know if you want to read it. But I will let you guys know at the end of it. But I am enjoying it so far. But the two Colin Hoover books. You need to read it. You need to read them. It's given kind of like soft Fifty Shades. Just saying that. But then there's other aspects to it as well, obviously. But um, yeah, those are my favourite books at the moment. Lastly, TV shows. So as you guys may have noticed, I haven't really been on social media a lot if you follow me on like Instagram and stuff. It's because I've been busy watching all the great TV shows, British TV shows, may I add. So we watched Fool Me Once, which was absolutely amazing. I'm just so sad the way it ended. If you haven't seen it, I won't spoil it, but I don't think there's going to be a second series. I think a lot of fans were upset about that. Stay Closer, which we actually watched... Um, before Christmas really good it's another Harlan Coben book um safe amazing so good like that Harlan Coben knows what he's doing he knows what he's doing um then we watched um After the Floods which was on ITV I think it was oh my god it was so good it was like a police drama but oh my god so good and such I love those police dramas where you're like it's him oh it could be her Oh no, I think it might be him. And then it's none of them. You know what I mean? The twisty turvy things. I love that sort of thing. And I, it gets my brain going and like making me think logically and all this. It's, I love it. Um, then we watched The Deceived. Amazing as well. So good. That was only a six part drama. I feel like they could have extended that to maybe seven episodes or six eight episodes and gave us a bit of a background on how it ended if that makes sense if you haven't seen it you won't understand if you have do you agree and then we binged watched trigger point oh my god first episode i screamed at the end that was unexpected and then we watched obviously it started the second series started on sunday so we're watching that right now so that's my favorite right now and Wow, that's a series you need to watch if you like police dramas and stuff like that. It was so good. But anyway, um, I don't know how long this video is going to be. I'm running a little bit late now. I need to go and pick up the boys from school. And yeah, that is my favourite. So I just thought I'd show you a couple of the things that I've been loving recently. I've been having a lot of people ask for recommendations for makeup and stuff. I want to do more makeup videos, I think. Um, I'm kind of getting back into even just makeup like this. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please give it a great big thumbs up. If there's any favourites you like that I would post, you'd think I would like due to the things that I've showed you today, let me know because I'd like to try them. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, but yeah, so I hope you guys have a great day, great week, whatever you're doing. Please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.